Well, new developments in the ongoing investigation into the deadly beating of Tyree Nichols as the Memphis Police and Fire Departments announce additional actions against employees that were on the scene. Steve Harrigan reports from Memphis. A vigil held Monday night at a California skate park where Tyree Nichols was remembered by friends and family. Yes, Across the country, new developments from the ongoing investigation into his death. Watch out. I'm a baton of the Memphis Police Department announcing that two additional police officers have been relieved of duty following the deadly beating of Nichols. One of those officers can be heard on the body cam footage released last week. Everybody got to talk about high spray, knee spray, hip heel tape. This in addition to the five now former officers charged with second degree murder in Nichols' death. All of them seen on video brutally beating Nichols following a traffic stop. The Nichols family responding to this new development saying, quote, why is his identity and the role he played in Tyree's death just now coming to light? It certainly begs the question why the white officer involved in this brutal attack was shielded and protected from the public eye and to date from sufficient discipline and accountability. Meanwhile, three members of the Memphis Fire Department have been fired, two of them EMTs, seen on video standing with officers at the scene, failing to offer Nichols aid as he lay in pain, slumped against a police vehicle in handcuffs. The funeral for Tyree Nichols will be Wednesday. Reverend Al Sharpton will give the eulogy. In Memphis, Steve Harrigan, Fox News.